Hello wonderful people, I hope you are all well and ready for some tea. Today we're going to review the Jackson 12 half pen palette that is available in many German stores and markets. It's distributed by Hansel Art, a German company and wholesaler of art supplies from, from what I've learned from their site and catalog. And let me spoil a bit, I did not expect to learn what it did when I purchased them last year. Last year I did a big haul, which I showed way too late in my last haul video. I was quite excited about the set as this was a new to me brand and I'm very eager to try things out right now. It just feels nice to do so. In the store and on the packaging, Jackson is described as artist's watercolors, made for fine arts, that they have a great brick pigmentation and high light fastness. I was intrigued. I knew in the color selection the set would be would not be for me, as it does happen in the basic sets, but I wanted to give them a chance and work with their color palette. In total, Jackson offers 48 colors in their range and you can get them as sets or in single half pans or full pans. The palette comes nicely packaged in a box with some info on it and a list of colors, their transparency and light fastness on the back. The black standard tin has the Jackson logo printed on the lid. Inside the half pans are individually wrapped with a paper wrapper and a plastic foil. When unwrapping the pans, I did notice the very nice and smooth plastic of the pan, which I rarely see. The pan itself, not even the paint yet, feels nice. It also has the color number printed on it, so it's easy to know which color you have there, if you forgot to label. I did not and label them all. The pans are filled to the rim and the paint shows a texture that was one I have seen before. In paints like paints like Prima Marketing and the likes. This did confuse me a bit as the pens on the image on the box and in the flyers look nothing like that texture. Still, I will give the paints a try and swatch them. Took notes, made a list for the database with all the pigment numbers, which you can find on the wrappers. That's always a good sign. Now let me explain and go back a little. Prima Marketing was a brand I got back in 2016, maybe, when I just went back into watercolors and I enjoyed them back then. They do regret fine, have, nice co have a nice color selection, the two palettes I have are Tropicals and Decadent Pies and I love them. Swatching the Jackson paints felt just like that. They are red fine and it's a nice color payoff. They don't feel chalky um, and I will talk about this later a bit. They behave. Comparing the pigments in the mixes and swatching these brands side by side, I can say they are the same now. And this is something that blew my mind and made me a little angry too. And I want to explain why. I felt like that and I want to talk about the color selection in the set too because I fi finally know what bothers me in that. Before judging too quickly, I did email Hansel Art and ask the usual question about the binder, if it's gum arabic according to their site and whether they add other animal derived things in there, which is important for me for the vegan uh, filter in the database for example. Um, which is by the way linked down below. For an answer I received a double page from the catalog listing um, with the listing of their range but even without the pigment information they do have a decent selection of colors available and speeding forward I would suggest to purchase single pants or half pants if you buy these pants and not the sets. So my questions were not answered by the comp company, which is a little bit sad, and I did let them know that. That, yeah. So before we jump into the rabbit hole, these are the colors in the set. Titanium White, PW6, Permanent Yellow, PY14, Orange, 
PO13 and PY14 again, permanent red, PR112 and PR170, violet, PV23, ultramarine blue, which is a mix of PV29 and PV27, Prussian blue, which is a single pigment of PV27, Viridian, which is PG7, Yellow green, which is a mix of PY14 and PG7, Yellow ochre, which is a mix of PY42 and PY14, Light red, which is a mix of PR101, PY14 and PR48. Um, I don't know how to read this, 4, and ivory black, PBK9. Swatching them side by side with Prima, there were the same mixes available that look 100% the same and are indistinguishable. Of course, I didn't have matches for all of the colors because I don't have the full range of each brand. Some of the mixes and names they, choose, they chose for it are a bit weird though. Of all of these colors I had matches for the Violet, Ultramarine Blue, Prussian Blue, Viridian, Yellow Ochre and Light Red. Of course it's not magic to find matches for single pigment colors like Violet and Prussian Blue. But the Ultramarine, Yellow Ochre and Light Red were such weird, weird pigment choices that it convinced me that these are indeed the same. Ultramarine Blue for some reason has a PB27 mixed in. That makes the color cooler than it needs to be. In addition to the Prussian blue, a pure PB27, the colors just look too close to each other to be placed in a limited palette. The match in the Prima marketing, the match in the Prima marketing is number 23. The yellow ochre is a mix of PY42 and PY14, same pigment numbers as number 14 in the Prima marketing colors. Here too, the color would benefit from being a pure PY42 as there is a PY14 in the set already. Light red, a name usually used for a red ochre or PR101 like color, is here a mix of three pigments. Same pigment selection is found in number 32 of the premium marketing sets that I own. If my selection was bigger, I'm sure I would have more matches. When researching this, I watched a review from Eve Bolt and others. Eve also have received a cuppa from Jackson to swatch that she says had only little shine in it. That is just how the Prima marketing metallics look like in the Decadent Pie set. Not shiny. Indeed, at first I didn't even understand that they are supposed to be shiny, but it's not about Prima marketing here. Looking at the set alone, the mixing possibilities were small. With only one red, there are almost none variations possible when it comes to mixing reds or red shades. Due to the rainbow, many of the colors did neutralize to some shade of brown and not even mixing a nice black was possible due to the lack of a cool blue. Be because the blues are so close together and Viridian is bluish green too, it's very well possible to mix a variety of blues with the set. When painting I felt limited by this palette more than I could have been and it was only due to the color selection. Also I noticed that the mixes I made with the ultramarine were always a bit dull and kind of chalky looking. It wasn't as noticeable in the pure swatch of the color but somehow more so in the mi mixes. To be fair, I did only use the colors I enjoyed for the test paintings and it was mostly the ultramarine, red ochre and yellow ochre. Sometimes I pulled in some of the violet and viridian as needed. When I inspected the packaging, I saw that there is nowhere stated where these paints are made. Only the name and place of the distributor, Hansel Art in Germany. This leads me to believe they are just the same as Prima Marketing, Etcher, Mongio and many more rebrandings of the same stuff under a different name. In general, I'm okay with this, but for some reason I also feel weird that we are being sold all the same things under different names and are led to believe there were differences where there are none. This is also good news to all Germans 
or everyone who wants to travel to Germany and always wanted to try out one of these brands. As you can get Jackson for about 10 euro cheaper here than Prima Marketing and the other brands. No need to pay extra customs or shipping costs when you can get this right here and put together your own sets. The only thing is that the Jackson range lacks the pastels which other brands offer. But you will have the advantage of being able to choose full pants if you want extra of your favorite colors. Again, this is not about the quality of the paints, it's just the rabbit hole I fell into when researching these paints for the review. As you can see in the test painting, they work. They are decent quality student grade paints, as I wouldn't go so far to call them artist quality. They do wet nicely, the color pay off is wonderful, they dry a bit lighter and need a little a few more layers, but again, it's not unusual in the watercolors. Also, they have a slight sheen when they dry when, you, when they're used in the mass tone. The only other thing that I'm believing I was trying something new and be disappointed is the color selection. It's another case of rainbow palette where we will get the full rainbow without regarding the mixability. The colors appear too bright somehow, but very important colors are missing too, as cool red or a warm blue, which would give more possibilities to easily mix the colors you need. Same happened to Otto Kano, who reviewed their 24 half pen set. PP29 is beautiful on its own and the palette would have benefited from that. Especially the lack of a cool red seems crucial as there is no true primary to mix from. And I truly missed a burnt umber and could have gone without the black from a pers personal taste. But personal taste is of course not everything. When stating my concern in Discord, another German user mentioned that the color selection reminds me, reminded him of the German school colors. And then it clicked. Well, there is a norm for German school colors uh, or school paints, paint sets from 1989 that says that they have to contain a CMY triad to practice mixes. By the way, not all teachers knew how to make sense of it and actually still um, taught RYB. The older school palettes before 1989 had this exact color selection with like a Prussian blue etc. plus a cool red. White always came in little tubes to be more opaque when used. To realize that blew my mind. Obviously someone in the marketing or wherever chose to choose colors like the ones in the school palettes for this set and they marketed it as artists watercolors. At least now I understand where these rainbow palettes come from. And let me tell you, even as a kid, I did not like not. At least now I understand where these rainbow palettes come from. And let me tell you, even as a kid, I did not like those a lot. Same happened, by the way, with the Van Gogh Frau Hölle set, um, where it's it was just like weird rainbow mixing palette and it didn't work for mixes. Um, a review is somewhere in the channel, I will link it in the description box as well. Still, if you can work with this color selection or like this, these work exactly as Prima Marketing and are decent and a good quality to start from if you have no other paints or want to try watercolor. If you already have professional paints or one of the other brands that sell the same stuff, you might want to miss out on these. Also, if you happen to love Prima Marketing and the colors, these can, can give you the opportunity to get the colors in a full pan if you want to stock on your favorites or replace the ones that you have used up already. You will definitely be able to work with these paints and you will be able to learn if you buy those. You will even enjoy them as they're bright and do not appear chalky mostly, except for their ultramarine and mixes. But please be aware and choose your co colors wisely and how you need them. This is my biggest suggestion for this brand. My personal disappointment is solely about the brands that buy these paints, rebrand them and sell them as if they were not the same. It's very misleading to the customers and the lack of information I got to where the paints were made, actually made from 
if there were animal derived ingredients used etc is just necessary. Also I was a bit confused by the light fastness info, info as PB27 is labeled with two stars and the ultramarine that contains PB272 with three stars. Where does this light fastness info come from? How they hold up to that will be tested of course. Right now I'm not sure if I want and will add those and the primas to the database as they're all the same. Let me know if you would find this helpful and I would really love to know how you feel about the same stuff being sold under different names. I hope you enjoyed this video, have a wonderful and creative day and I hope to see you soon. By the way, all, the links, all of the links are in the description box. Have a wonderful day. Bye.